Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to the Queen of Wands. I'm Pat. How y'all doing today? We're shaking. All righty. So good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. And I'm having my coffee. I'm up chilling, having my coffee. So um, I just want to do a video on the overall energy. Okay. I just realized today that I haven't did a video in seven days. So that's pretty long for me. So I just got to catch up or whatever. But I was just having fun um, with my granddaughter. Okay. And just catching up on my readings and making sure I get all the energy out to you guys in a timely manner. Okay. So, um, you know, as I've been feeling a lot of energy from the divine masculine, that they're very sad. They're very regretful about how they've been feeling. Okay, I feel like a lot of the film, divine film energy is you guys are moving forward. You're trying to remain positive and you're trying to build on your life. All right, especially at this downtime, we are doing different things, trying to maintain. Okay, so um, the energy that I've been feeling is somebody's looking to start like a soap business, make their own soaps, their own candles. Um, it's all about aromatherapy and herbs and holistic energy. Okay. And um, somebody could be into crystals. All right. So somebody's trying to find a little shop or a location where they could open up a little business at. But I feel like it's a holistic business. Okay. And um, I get the energy that somebody could be on dating sites, meeting up with people. Okay. And then the other, other energy I, that I get is somebody could be meeting up on dating sites and like robbing people. Okay. So just be careful about that energy if you're um, out there dating and especially if you're using an app or a site or something just be cautious because i feel like somebody's on there plotting against people okay this could be a site where people got money um high figure paying jobs and stuff like that and somebody could be trying to take advantage of that situation all right the next energy i feel is obsessive energy i feel like your divine masculine is really concerned about you divine them and i feel like he's a little obsessive to know what you're doing. Have you moved on? Are you dating someone new? There's a lot of 555 five, five energy, change, conflict, chaos going on. And um, somebody feel very overwhelmed. Um, there's withdrawn energy. Um, somebody feel very worried. And I feel the divine film is feeling very fierce. Like, you know, it's nothing she can't do. Okay. And then I get the energy of a carol. All right. And Carol, you could be really concerned about your bills and finances, just like all of us is. But, you know, you're a little very, a little really worried and concerned about it. OK, you could have had a job situation uh, recently that didn't work out, but you're very like in a panic anxiety type of energy. So I'm divine to say that they have you. All right. So please, you know, have faith and believe. OK, we're all doing that as well. So I hope that you guys are protected. The divine said you are protected, but you still have to protect yourself within this coronavirus energy that's going around here. All right. It will subside, but you have to follow the precautions from the CDC that you're being guided to follow. Okay. All right. So the over energy I'm feeling right here is 1111. You guys are definitely seeing the signs and synchronicities of 1111. OK, and you guys are expecting communication as well as the divine masculine wants to communicate with you. OK, and you guys feel like you have been in this twin flame journey by yourself, divine film. While the divine masculine has been out in this toxic devil energy, codependent. OK, because he's unable to close cycles and he keep getting stuck in lust. All right. So that's some energy that's going on with this overall energy. All right. So I'm going to the Twin Flame Oracle and I'm going to pull out some energies for the Divine Feminine. With some energies for our Divine Femme, energies right out the box is Divine Femme, you're using your intuition about a situation. You're just you're noticing the red flags within a situation and you're really using your intuition. You're not putting it on the back burner anymore. OK, and you're at a crossroads as to what you want to do in this twin flame journey. You're at a crossroads about decisions, relationships, jobs. All right. We all are. OK, and you're going through this rebirth and this transformation and you're really waking up to shit that's around you. All right. And a lot of this shit you're saying, fuck you too. 
some of this shit is not worth it. All right. It makes you angry. It's toxic. And everything in that energy, you're basically saying fuck you to because you could be going through a transformation and a rebirth. All right. That's what's going on with our divine fam. What else is going on? You want things to change. You're hoping for a miracle in regards to this coronavirus as well as in your life. You're hoping that we overcome these issues. All right. The next energy I got is you're tired of your divine masculine. Whoa. You're tired of your divine masculine <laughs> being in denial of this relationship. All right. So you're very tired of them being in denial of this relationship. You're fed up. Okay. And once again, here's this 1111. You're tired of them not noticing the signs and the synchronicities about this journey and about their and what they're getting. And you're also tired of them not communicating. You want this communication. You want some truth and clarity. Okay. So you're a little bit tired. Okay. Okay. So the next energy here is the next energy here. All right. <laughs> You're definitely using your intuition, divine fam. You're definitely using your intuition. We got that clarity that you guys are tired of the divine masculine being in denial. You're manifesting your ass off, divine fam. You know what it is that you want. You're not playing games. You know that your thinking is what you're recycling and manifesting. So you guys are really on top of your game with manifesting positive energies, okay? Because you have learned your fucking lessons and some shit. You're not playing anymore. You learned your lessons about this journey, about relationships, about people, and what it is that you want. And now you're trying to manifest something positive, something beautiful, because you're tired of all these challenges. You know, you learned your lessons. You faced these challenges, and they only made you stronger and made you grow. God letting you know that he noticed that. And that's why he kicking out additional messages. All right. Your challenges was being consistently ghosted by your divine masculine. And all you did was learn and grow from that. Every time this person ghosted you, you learn more about this person. Okay. Every time they left you, you learned it more. You learned more. You grounded yourself. You went out in nature. You evolved into this beautiful butterfly. You took that energy as a chance to grow, to heal, to work on your self-love and your worth. That's what you did. All right. Because you took off the mask. You realized you was wearing a mask to divine feminine, believing in some shit, holding on to some shit. But once you took that off and start believing in yourself, you see that you started evolving. You started manifesting positive energy. All right. You start involved into this beautiful person that you knew was all there all along. All right. You stop catering to what somebody else wanted of you and you started focusing on what you wanted of you. You took that mask off. You realized you was literally wearing one. You know, you might be lonely and shit right now, but you know what the fuck you want. You know what you're going for. You know what you're aiming for. Yes, you might be lonely because, you know, a lot of you guys might be in house. But this is so searching. Epiphanies. Healing, you know, start studying, start reading, start learning, start focusing on your needs, your desires, spend some time journaling. OK, so those are messages from the divine. Now I want to go into the divine masculine's energy. Holy Spirit, what is the divine masculine's energy? All right. Holy Spirit, give me some energy for our divine masculine. From his higher self, if possible. From his higher self. What is it that he wants from the divine fan? What is it? How is it? What's his energy? His energy is, he could be in nostalgia energy. All right? Here's that creative energy. Desiring, brainstorming about, you know, what he could, how he could connect with you. Just going through the past energies. Missing you, reminiscing about you. Looking at your photographs. I feel sadness with this. Wondering what he could have had with you. Okay. Because he had intentions for you. He have intentions for you now. All right. He see you as this beautiful sunflower. This evolving, evolving person. Grounding yourself. Out in nature. 
So you guys could be mirroring this energy as well. You know, the sunflower was fire sign energy. And you know he left you in a one-sided spiritual journey. He left you all alone, wasn't communicating with you, wasn't, you know, there for you. All right. But now he's realizing that and he's going through this awakening. All right. That's some of his energy is he realizing that. All right. And he's trying to ground himself. He's trying to get his life together. He's trying to mirror your energy. All right. He's trying to understand, you know, and mirror your energy. Holy Spirit. He's trying to get some rest. Okay. He needs some sleep. He could be in and out a lot. He could be a driver. All right. But he's recognizing this past life twin flame journey. He could be having dreams and downloads about this. His twin flame. As he gets some rest. All right. And he realized that he have a lot of passion and love for you. Okay. He realized that. He have a lot of passion and love for you, divine fam. All right. And he really regret how things turned out between you two. He really miss you. You're on his mind consistently. He think about the fun times, the engaging times, the loving times, the hugs, the kisses, the romance. What you guys could have had. He's stuck in nostalgia mode of the past. All right. Wow. All right. He could also be facing a lot of challenges. All right. And with those challenges, those, those regrets, because he made the wrong decisions. Divine saying what? He wasn't using his intuition about people, about things, about situations, about relationships. He knew all along, but he wasn't using his intuition. All right. So now he want to come in and balance things out with you, Divine Fam. He's hoping that he can, because you're all he think about. You're, you're all he fantasize about, all he romance about, just the beauty within his divine feminine. Okay? Some of you divine films could have blonde hair. Not all divine blonde hair people are comics. Okay? This is what he want with you, divine film. He want this forgiveness. He love you. Your beautiful energy to him. He don't want you to feel like you're alone. Like you're in a one-sided relationship anymore. He loves you. All right. Here it is again. He want to be there for you and support you. He don't want you to feel this way at all. All right. Damn. All right. You want to come from his higher self. This is his higher self. He loves you. He want to change. He want to release the ego. He want to share with you his true self, his authentic self, divine fam. Okay? It's a lot of sexual energy and chemistry still within the divine masculine. He's still suffering and dealing with those addictions as well as having this lust for you. Okay? Just like we said, he's doing a lot of daydreaming, a lot of fantasizing, even about how it would be to live with you, to have something with you. Something that's real, authentic, that's lasting. All right? He wants this victory with you, Divine Femme. He wants this victory. He see you as a victory in his life. He's recognizing. He's waking up. He's definitely been to Divine University. Okay? And he's dealing with these inner childhood wounds. He's dealing with those. Things that happen as a child. That has surfaced into his adulthood. He is now dealing with. Okay. During this separation from you. He is awakening. He's doing that awakening. And all of his chakras are opening. To what it is. That he truly desired. His destiny. With his divine feminine. All right, so Divine Masculine did step in from his higher self, and he do realize, Divine Fem, that he have this with you, unconditional love. He realized now, through the storms, through the tower moments, through all of the toxic energy, the codependent energy, through the snake energy, 
who stood there at the end. It's still you, Divine Fem. He still feel that merit, loving, unconditional connection. All right. Ooh, that's some heavy energy that I'm feeling. Okay. So what I want to do is go into what's brewing with the Divine Masculine. Is that he's dealing with a hater. He's got some hater energy in him. I feel like this is some karmic energy where someone's hating on the divine masculine or on this twin flame journey. Holy Spirit, please give us the messages that we need to know in regards to the twin flame energy at this time. Please give us the messages that we need to know, Holy Spirit, in regards to the twin flame energies at this time. All right, so your divine masculine is chilling. All right. He just probably chilling at home because there's really nothing to fucking do. Everything is basically closed. So he could just be chilling. He could be having some beers. He could be relaxing. Holy Spirit. With some more energies for our divine masculine. Okay. Your divine masculine could be dealing with a situation where, you know, it could be somebody just trying to get pregnant. He could be dealing with a person that one day they sweet, the next minute they salty and shady. All right. Or he could be dealing with someone who is pregnant, who just found out, who's not sure, who's waiting on results. OK, but he's not sure because this is some sugar and salt energy here. Salty, but yet sweet. OK, and he's not sure if this is energy is being shared with others. All right. This is another uh, pregnancy here. And here it is. They were dealing with their worst nightmare. All right. So their worst nightmare could be that someone could be pregnant. I even get to energy that they could be with a karmic that could be possibly pregnant. All right. And then also they could have fucked around and cheated. And then someone else is now talking about they're pregnant. This is some energy. And I feel like the divine masculine is in denial and don't believe it. And he's also dealing with someone that's a horrible nightmare to him that he wish he never met, slept with. This is some regretful energy. All right. This card jumped out here is that, all right, he want to make a promise to you. All right. This worst nightmare person, he could have made a promise to them. He could have manipulated this person to get what he want. And now this person is stalking him and being the worst nightmare. This is the energy that somebody wished they would have made a promise to the right person. Offered a ring to the right person. I feel the energy that somebody could have married their worst nightmare. Due to a possible pregnant or somebody telling them that they was pregnant. Okay. And all of this was nothing but total drama. Just drama. All right. In regards to a possible pregnancy. Somebody want out and they want to fight for who they truly love truly want and truly desire okay the next energy I got because somebody know they fucked up they made a wrong choice a wrong decision with their life against the person that they love they feel like they tore the strings for good okay because they got caught up with somebody who probably trapped them into a pregnancy somebody was just out there fucking around Somebody else could be pregnant. I feel like this is some recent information. Your divine masculine could have recently had a baby. And now it could be another karmic that's saying that they're pregnant. Okay. It's just like pregnancy energy going on here. Getting caught up. Just keep cheating. Somebody's unwilling to change their ways. All right. What's some other energies that we need to know? Holy Spirit. About this twin flame connection. Yes. Somebody's definitely dealing with a sexual addiction here. They can't change their ways. They just keep going out fucking around and they keep fucking around with no protection. So you guys really got to be careful about that. Somebody see you divine film as a diamond in the rough. They know you are. All right. Why they out doing all this shit? You just chilling. Yeah. Why they out here fantasizing, sleeping around, dealing with strippers and hoes? You know, since the strip clubs are closed, how's the host going to make their money? 
So what, they dealing with side jobs now? All right. They're definitely dealing with someone who's very insecure. All right. Someone who's very concerned about some money. Okay. Energy. Somebody's burning evidence. This evidence could be in regards to a pregnancy, a sexually transmitted disease. All right. Somebody could be acting like they're always busy, avoiding somebody, blocking somebody. Okay. Somebody came in with a fake ass apology. Be aware that you don't get one. Divine film, divine masculine. Somebody's coming in with it though. Please notice the red flags. Because somebody's still promiscuous and whoring around. And they're still coming back with the same bullshit. Okay? So you guys got to watch that shit. They're still coming back in. They're going to tell you what you want to hear for the moment. And they're still living this life. Sleeping around. Whoring around. All right? Sleeping with strippers. I guess the strippers is setting up shop on the side now. Okay? They got to make a living too, I guess. All right? So the next energy that I want to go into is the Divine Masculine's secrets. What is he hiding, Holy Spirit? What is the Divine Masculine hiding? All right? So rarity sometimes when a Divine Fem hiding shit. But you do Divine Fem sometimes, okay? Divine Masculine is hiding that he was dealing with a bugaboo bitch. Okay? He's hiding that shit. This could be somebody that he's embarrassed about. All right, this could be like not a looker, okay? Somebody that only Divine Masculine had eyes for at the time, okay? This could be somebody that he had a fight with. You know, it could have been some conflict here with this bugaboo person, okay? And now they want to come in after you, but they're highly guarded. It's the energy that they want to tell you what's going on with this person, but they don't. This even could be the bugaboo bitch that's claiming she's possibly pregnant. He's embarrassed about this energy, okay? Yes, this is definitely somebody who played him, all right? But unfortunately, Divine Masculine, stop playing the victim. This is somebody that you put your shit into and possibly got pregnant. You played yourself. Know the difference. Nobody did this to you. Nobody did this for you. You did this to yourself, okay? It's nobody's fault, okay? This person could want a family with you. All right? Divine Masculine. He's keeping that secret that he wants to reconcile and have a family with you. All right? He's keeping that secret that he could possibly have a family with a spoiled bitch. All right? The person who has some money that he could be codependent upon. He could have offered this energy um, a family type of situation. He could have possibly two kids with this person. All right, I feel two energies that he was cheating on this person and possibly fucked around with a bugaboo bitch as well. Okay. All right, so it's the energy that somebody need protection here. Okay, somebody got played. It could have been this poor person, this family situation he was in. All right, they could have got played because he was probably still fucking around with bugaboo bitches. All right, and he left this situation and now somebody's pissed. This is that scorned energy. Okay, the vine saying you are protected, but you got to stop putting yourself in situations that you need protection. Holy Spirit, what is your secrets? Something over, something ended due to possibly finding out about a bugaboo bitch. All right, coffee break. The next energy is somebody need to check themselves. They could have gotten a sexually transmitted disease. All right. The next energy is maybe you need to check yourself, Divine Film, because this person was keeping you a secret. You didn't know what was going on with this person. All right. So check yourself. They didn't tell you much of anything that was going on. Divine is saying align yourself with the universe. Keep aligning yourself. Keep balancing out yourself. Keep grounding yourself. Okay. <laughs> But the Divine Masculine definitely got played. All right. He was still dealing with toxic energy. Holy Spirit. Is there anything else brewing that we need to know? Holy Spirit. Just a lot of energies. Definitely that hater energy. Okay. This could be Divine Masculine or Karmic energy. But now they realize they hate nothing about you. All right. 
they realize that they've been putting on the show and this shit ain't working out. All right. They've been putting on the show that their life is great. Everything's grand. But all along, it's hater energy, jealousy in the background, making you think they're good, but they're really not. Their life is full of fucking drama. Bullshit. Every day, it's like it's some drama in this divine masculine's life because he lived fake a life. All right? Because he keep getting caught up because he's living a promiscuous lifestyle. Just keep getting caught up. You know, not wearing condoms. Keep going to the hotel. This person is like they dark night and soul energy has now taken over. All right? It's taken over. All right? It's a lot of copycat energy here. Somebody want to be like you, divine film. I feel like this divine masculine, to me, I don't feel like he's in a stable relationship with anybody. I get the energy. He's just all over the place. What else do we need to know, Holy Spirit? What else do we need to know? The divine masculine feel like their life is destroyed. They feel like they don't have anything, you know, anything successful happening in their life. Anything positive. They could have gotten to a car accident. They could have got their car vandalized by karmic energy. Something could have happened. They could have found out something. And it's destroyed. They feel destroyed. And they're running away. They could be running away from everybody. They feel suffocated. They feel abandoned. They feel secluded. In solitude. They can't handle the pressure. The pain. And this is how they're feeling. This is sad. They feel alone. It's a lot of crying energy. They're starting to realize, you know, what's happening here. They're starting to realize that they're even tired of putting on this show. They're even tired of faking it. They're tired of it. They're tired of this toxic energy. This codependent energy. They're tired of being with people because they need them. They don't want to do that no more. They're tired of feeling stopped. Like somebody controlling them. Obsessing them. It's like they don't know how to live their own life. They're stuck. People making choices and decisions for them. Here it is. They feel heartbroken and lonely. They feel abandoned. They keep wearing this mask. They know this is what they did to you as well. And now they're feeling the way you did, Divine Femme. This is sad energy for our Divine Masculine right now. So if your Divine Masculine comes to you, that's how he's feeling. There's something going on. He's feeling like this. This toxic energy has torn up his life, has destroyed him. He's feeling shady, like he can't trust anybody. A lot of you divine films have given your divine masculine a silent treatment. He's giving you that because he's dealing with this pain, this heartbreak, these decisions, these choices. Something has ended. It could have ended in a toxic manner. All right. This person could possibly be in jail, could be going to jail, could be in trouble. It's a lot of fear. Your divine masculine is in fear that he might lose you for good and not see you anymore. It's some trouble here that's coming out here. It's a judgment going down. They feel stuck in fear, chained to fear, stuck in toxic energy, feeling like this is never going to subside in their life. They're starting to recognize the error of their ways and how they hurt other people. They're starting to have dreams about karma. I just feel the energy that somebody could be facing jail time and they're very scared and having a lot of anxiety about that. And they're having a lot of nightmares and they're being hunted. And I feel like it's the energy that they've been in jail before and 
that they scared to go back to that energy before because they know how painful it was to experience that pain, to be away from everybody. They felt abandoned. They felt alone. This is still that obsessive behavior that this could be happening to the divine masculine and he's also doing this to the divine feminine. Just obsessive, stalking energy to see if you're with someone else, to see if you have abandoned them for good. Because they're in rage. They feel alone. I feel a lot of pressure. I feel like this is going into a divine masculine reading. His energy is so strong. He's stuck in emotional upheaval. He can't express himself. He's trying to stay away. He could be trying to stay away from you, Divine Film, because somebody's threatened you guys. And it's a lot of conflict. Somebody could be stalking him. And that's my confirmation. He's very sad about this. That he brought this energy to the rela relationship. Y'all know how I get. Please bear with me. He's hurting over this. He's crying over this. And he could be possibly, like I said, staying away from you due to this energy that he brought some negative energy or a scorned person to, to you guys' relationship. He don't want you to get hurt. He's afraid. He's watching you because he's afraid. You could have blocked your divine masculine. He could have blocked someone and took someone out of his life. There could have been an ending. And he's trying to let this go. All right. He could have broke the karmic's heart. He could have found out, you know, that they were doing the manipulation and the black magic. Okay. But he could have blocked someone. Okay. You could have blocked him, but you're no longer showing interest. And somebody's being in denial. And the story and the information is written right in their face. They see all the signs, the synchronicities, the red flags. And someone's just in denial. They're being very arrogant. They know that this is what they have done and stayed in their ego. All while shit was right in their face happening. The downloads. Everything was happening, but they didn't use their intuition. Holy Spirit, please give me these messages. This is the energy that I feel that someone is crying. Someone is very upset. Someone can't sleep. Nine of Swords energy. They're hurt over losing you. They hurt over putting this relationship underwater. This is a lot of tears. Somebody is definitely dealing with heartbreak and it's definitely divine masculine. Because he know that he consistently broke your heart, divine feminine. Consistently. He could be medicating himself. All right. He could be on some type of pain med. All right. But also, this is that dark energy. I still get more gel energy, but this is the dark energy that he don't trust anyone anymore. Not even himself, not even his own decisions. People around him, he want to stay in solitude. He's running away from anything that don't serve him. All right, because he's trying to feel hopeful. He's trying to feel like there's faith, like there's a miracle, like the divine will step in. He's in a real depressed state right now. So if you guys can just send out some positive love, positive energy to your divine masculine. And you know, a part of healing is, you know, not wishing negative and hurt and harm on someone else when they finally realize their wrongs. You know, we all grow and accept our challenges and wrongs in our own time, in our own place. You know, it's not like we did one thing and we learned. There was a multitude of things, and that's how you have to learn from each lesson. 
And this is a divine masculine, a lot of them, who are finally realizing that they need to learn from their lessons. And they're having hope and faith that they can heal. They're getting downloads from the divine. All right. They're feeling very insecure, very vulnerable at this time. All right. What happened with our divine masculine with this karmic energy? What happened, Holy Spirit? What happened with the divine masculine with this karmic energy? What happened, Holy Spirit? How's he feeling? What lessons did he learn? What happened was that he need help. It's a situation where the divine masculine need help. He could be connecting with you, trying to call you. It's an SOS that he's sending out here. Someone's stalking the divine masculine. Someone's threatening the divine masculine. He's alone. All right? Because you're innocent and you're awakened. He knows this. You're seeing the rainbows. You shielded yourself. You protected yourself and guarded yourself. You could have missed a bullet dealing with a situation that the divine masculine is now dealing with. Okay, so this is the divine masculine's energy, and this is your energy, divine fam. Okay, and I'm going to clarify on this needing help. What's going on with this person, the divine masculine, Holy Spirit? Why do he need help in this situation? Why do he need help? These cards came out because he's feeling judged. He's feeling, having a lot of anxiety, and he's feeling judged about a situation. There's embarrassment going on here, okay? Because he's in denial. He's seen everything written on the wall. He didn't use his intuition, and now he's being judged, all right? And now he's in terrible sadness, hurt, and pain, anger, because of a decision he made, all right? And now he's medicating himself, numbing himself, all right? Holy Spirit, could you please clarify the innocent and awakened Divine Feminine? Divine Feminine, you feel like you have healed. Not all the way, but you're still working on healing from this destruction. And this is how you see this twin flame journey and what the Divine Masculine did to you as destruction. Okay? That's how you feel. Okay? You got a lot of energy here. All right? You don't trust right now. You're not ready for another relationship. You're meditating. You're finding peace alone. You're healing. Okay? You're not trusting. Okay? And it's like you have a hard time standing up for yourself. And that's something that you're trying to heal on. Because you feel like that is what got you into this predicament in the first place. You're not standing up for yourself when you knew that this was going into toxic energy. Okay? And it's like now you're very defensive. You're not taking any more shit. You're very guarded. You know what the fuck you want and what's going on here. And you know that you're dealing with a divine masculine that's depressed. He's stuck in a negative pattern right now. He's stalking you and he's jealous. You feel his energy. He could talk to you like this. He could display this energy towards you if he's around. All right? And you're starting to feel this as well sometimes. It's rubbing off on you almost. Okay? Because you felt like your divine masculine was very two-faced and deceptive towards you. He never took off the fucking mask. You never got any damn clarity. He just kept on playing mind fuckery with you. You know, so now that's why you stand to yourself, divine film, because you know your divine masculine is still stuck. He's not healed and he's dealing with addictions heavily. And that's what's keeping him stuck in two-faced energy of being deceptive towards you. You're not dealing with that shit anymore. You're very awakened. Like this card said, you're very awakened. All right. And you're staying innocent because you're staying out of this shit. You don't want this energy in your life, all right? But however, the Divine Masculine is aware of his toxic energy, all right? So that's what's happening with the Divine Masculine. I'm going to the next deck, and I just want to see um, some, some energies that's still going on with you guys, all right? So Holy Spirit, what are some intentions of the Divine Masculine? And I'm using the Love Destined Oracle. 
and he's dealing with financial issues. He could be in a relationship due to financial issues. Okay? He could be in a codependent relationship due to finances. Okay? Holy Spirit, please clarify. Give me some energies about what's going on with this Twin Flame Collector. And first I'm going to go into our Divine Masculine. He wants to give you a gift, Divine Femme, but he's having financial issues. Okay? He's dealing with financial issues. He want to buy you this ring. He want to propose. He love you. He want to have a family with you. All right? He want to have a family with you. All right? He could have a family maybe that he want to tell you about. All right? He could have recently had a child. And this might be unexpected information to you. Okay? There's intimacy there. He wants to make love to you. He wants to communicate with you. All right? He wants to tell you that he's in a complicated situation. He know he complicated things between you two. All right? Now he's in solitude. He's missing you. He's thinking about you. You're all that he think about, but he think about how he complicated you guys' relationship. It could be due to a possible pregnancy. He think about his soulmate. That's why he in solitude, because he realized how much he loved you. He could have tried to build a foundation with someone, and he realized that he couldn't because he's still in love with his soulmate. Okay, he knew all along that you would be there for him. Your divine masculine did not want to leave you behind. He knew you were still waiting for him, divine film. He knew that when he tried to move on and just be in denial about what you two had, this connection, it hurt him because he realized how authentic he was. He realized how much he hurt you when he tried to go off and build with somebody else and you were waiting for him. He realized how loyal you have been to him, how much you have accepted him for who he is. He realized the loyalty and the unconditional love that you gave him. He's struggling with these decisions that he made over you. He could have ran into so many other situations and relationships. And he realized that none of these people was like you. And he was out there trying to copycat a bitch into you. Hoping he could find a bitch like you. It's something about you, Divine Femme, that he tried to find in another person. And it never happened. The Divine saying, oh, hell no. You're not going to mistake my divine films for these karmic bitches. Oh, hell no. So you go and pick the karmic bitches and that's what you get. Karmic energy, toxic energy, codependent energy. That's your karma. You want that lifestyle? Then those are the energies that you get. But when you fuck with the divine film, that's what you get. Loyalty. Okay? That's what you get. A soulmate. Authentic. Okay, Holy Spirit, drop that note. And right, this is what you get. A life partner. Somebody who's going to grow old with you through thick and thin. All right? Somebody who don't give a fuck that your hair turned gray. Somebody who don't give a fuck that you got wrinkles. Somebody who's going to grow old with you to the fucking end. That's what you get, Divine Masculine, when you fuck with the Divine Femme. When the divine sent you a partner that was made for you. This is what you get, a life partner. When you get with your divine film. Not this conflict. Not this drama. All right? But this is what you get, a life partner. Beautiful energy. All right? Beautiful energy. Not this betrayal. 
All right? Not just snake. Just snake energy. Not none of that. You don't get that. All right? Holy Spirit, please give me. Look at that energy. You guys mirror this energy. You both want the same thing. It's love. You're manifesting love. Okay? Holy Spirit, what is the divine feminine feeling? How is she feeling about her divine masculine? You want to be made a priority. All right? You haven't been feeling like you're a priority worth shit, divine fam. Nobody's been treating you like that, been making you feel like that. You've been on the fucking back burner, okay? The back burner, okay? Because you're dealing with somebody and you know your divine masculine is dealing with temptation. You feel like that's what's most important to him right now is his temptation, his lust, okay? His sexual addiction. That's what he catered to the most, not you. While you've been sitting around fucking waiting. He know you waiting. This mirror energy. He know you've been waiting. While he's dealing with what he want to deal with. A pregnancy. He know you want a new beginning. A rebirth of this relationship. But he could be dealing with a pregnancy. He could possibly give somebody else a new beginning. And now they could be fucking pregnant. Okay. This might be something that. If you find out, if he shared his energy with you, you're going to contemplate on staying with your divine masculine. All you got to say, oh, no, but y'all don't know. OK, you don't know the situations. It could still be a DNA test needed here. So before you go chip in the attitude, listen to the situation. It's all about listening before you jump off making decisions. OK. Heal first. When you heal. Everything is not so serious. You don't have so much attitude. When you heal and love yourself, you're just more in a helping spirit. You know, when you heal, all you want to do is be there for people. Even if you and your divine masculine don't connect, you have healed. And all you do is wish the best for him, whether you're with him or not. Whether he chooses to stay in a karmic relationship or not, you have healed. All right? And you're moving forward. All right? And this pain is not so bleeding. Like it used to be. You just wish him the best. You healed. And maybe next lifetime. Divine masculine. Alright. When you heal. All of this don't hurt. I told you guys. You're mirroring this energy. So both of you guys need to heal. You're both hurting. You're both feeling like this. Stress. And pressure. Of this union. Of this love. You guys miss each other. It's some strong love here. Okay, strong love. Okay, y'all feeling each other's frequency. And that's that mirror energy. All right. I get a lot of fire sign energy going on with that connection. Holy Spirit, a lot of fire sign energy going on. Okay. And divine wants you to know that it's a lot of competition still going on here. All right. It's a lot of competition. Holy Spirit, I thought I was going to be finished with this deck. But now you got to explain to us this competition. What's going on with this competition, Holy Spirit? What's going on? If somebody don't want y'all to have this connection. They jealous of it. You know, they jealous. The Divine Masculine is so regretful that he brought this competition into y'all life. Into y'all relationship. He's so regretful. He feel like he just like brought a, um, a problem to y'all life. And if he tries to brainstorm and find a way to get back with you, it's always going to be this competition, this problem, this fear. He's in fear. He regret what he did. I feel like this is the stalker scorn person. All right. He wants you to trust him, but he know you're always going to see him as somebody who brought a third party to your life. You always going to think it's somebody else in the background. He feel like you're never going to be able to trust him. He broke that trust with you. He broke it in multi, multi different. This is multi different times, multi different times that you broke. He broke that trust with you, offered you new beginnings, kept going back in situations in and out. Excuse on top of excuse saying he's busy, blocked you. All kind of energies that he know he did to you when he know he was all along attracted to you, loving you, missing you. Want to kiss you, show you this affection, this love, propose to you, engage with you, but yet he released you. 
Okay? The energy that now he secretly admire you. He love you. He missed what he had with you. He got a big ass heart for you. And he wants your forgiveness. Okay? He really do. Alright? He got a lot of regret. He hate that he broke up with you. But he also coming out of a breakup. Alright? So while he broke up with someone else, you broke up with him. He regrets this energy. He wants your forgiveness. He wants this. Okay? Thank you, Holy Spirit. He wants to make you a priority now. Okay? He don't want to abandon you anymore. Okay? And he know he's dealing with um, energies that's been toxic. Look at this shit. He just stepped in here. All right? Here's the divine masculine. Just confirm me what I'm feeling here. He wants something new. He realized his toxic energy. Okay? So, I'm just going to pull out some healing energy because he wants to heal. He got a lot of um, fear issues going on, abandonment issues going on, abandonment. Holy Spirit, could you please give me some healing energies for this Twin Flame Collective reading? Could you please give me some healing energies for this Twin Flame Collective reading? All right? The healing energies is you guys need to mean what you say and say what you mean. Okay? Do it. No more excuses. Come forward, Divine Masculine, Divine Femme. Be strong. No more miscommunication. It's time to have adult communication and adult heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Okay? So let's talk about it. But Divine Masculine, in order to have a new beginning that's abundant, you have to mean what you say. All right? Because Divine Femme is now feeling the beauty within herself. When you don't sometimes stick by your word, sometimes that do take the beauty out of a person. It makes them feel like they're just hearing shit to be hearing shit, but nothing is really authentic, that you're being fake, that this is your same energy of filling the person's head with shit that they want to hear, but no, not having any intentions on you know, following through with anything or not even feeling secure that you're actually feeling that way. Is there motive? That's narcissism energy. What's the motive behind you trying to fill somebody's head with shit that you really don't mean? Holy Spirit, that's some healing energy. Uh, stop trying to be a player. Stop trying to be a snake. Stop trying to manipulate somebody to your advantage. This could be karmic energy or divine masculine energy. Stop trying to be a snake. It's all in divine timing. You're being watched. It's not like anything you're doing is secretive. Okay? Because somebody is very fragmented. All right? It's a lot of skeletons in the closet. It's a lot of hurt, healing, um, wounded energy here. A hole in the heart. Your divine masculine, you know, he could have had a funky ass conversation with you that pissed you off. Said some negative things towards you. You know, made you feel unpretty. Always ghosting you. You know, remain silent. Don't never tell you what's up, but yet show up and try to give you flowers or act like they care. But then they go back into that non-communitive, hole in the soul energy. You know, because they stuck what? In their fucking pride and ego. They stuck there. They need to heal that energy. It's tearing you guys apart. They got a hole in their soul. And they tearing a hole in your soul with their pride and ego because they don't never come through and actually mean what they say to you. And it takes away some of your beauty, some of the feeling of strength that you develop within yourself, Divine Film. They take away some of that when they just play you and ghost you. They manipulate you. Okay? But there's a lot of signs and synchronicities going on here. There's a lot of downloads going on. It's a lot of angel energy going on here. Your divine masculine or, you know, you divine femme could feel like you two are angels. Okay? I still get fire sign energy. Okay? Here. It's a lot of beautiful loving energy that you guys could be having great positive dreams of each other. Okay? Great dreams of each other. Okay? So I'm just going to pull out some love and tragedy. And I'm going to ask for some outcome energies. Holy Spirit with some overall outcome energies. But it's Twin Flame Collective Reading. All right, for our viewers here. 
Alrighty. If you guys would like your own personal reading, please email me at queenofwands50 at gmail.com. Okay? Outcome energies is a lot of these divine masculines just might continue to self-sabotage this relationship, this journey. They might continue to be stuck in their ways and can't change themselves. All right. And then you guys might end up just being friends. You know, you might have to put this person at a distance from you because they can't change their ways and they always let other people claim them. They always get caught up with other energies, multiple people. All right. I feel like that's the energy that, you know, they like. They like that. This person could like being like without their shirt and always in a sexual mode, dealing with their lust and addiction. All right. With some more outcome energies, Holy Spirit. Some more outcome energies is you might have to let go. You might have to let go of your divine masculine because he could be stuck in sexual addictions and letting everybody else claim him. He could just be stuck in a dark energy, you know, used to that energy and don't know how to live the proper life in a divinity world. All right. You might have to let go and have a new romance with the soulmate. You know, you might find a new romance. You know, a lot of you guys might have to let go and just call in a soulmate because you're dealing with someone who possibly romance multiple partners. And that's just what they do. And they have a problem getting over this, this addiction. And you don't want to be stuck in this toxic energy. This is a repetitive cycle because this is what they continuously do. And this situation just keep evolving into the same situation of toxic energy. With some outcome energies, this person might continuously be under a spell. These black magic love spells, they just might continue to do this to your divine masculine. These karmic energies, they just might continue to do all this stuff. I got three more cards. All right. This is energies that maybe your relationship or you guys might be too wounded to repair this relationship. This unrequited love might step in here. Where you guys don't trust each other, you guys might let this go. And you might miss this lifetime of the union with your divine masculine. Due to consistent self-sabotage, consistent multiple partners, consistently being attacked through spiritual rituals. Through consistent deception. And a lot of insecurity. All right. So you guys really need to work on all of that. These are some outcome energies I just got. OK, so this, this is some over our energies that I'm feeling for the Twin Flame Collective at this time. I hope you all have a beautiful, blessed day. I will be doing some healing energies. OK, and I also will be digging further into what the Divine Masculine is hiding. OK, so thank you for joining me. Have a beautiful, blessed day. I love you all. Bye bye.